Hello y'all. This is the Roblox game, the Orber Museum, a museum dedicated to people who make orb games on Roblox or Orbers. They may seem childish, but they truly have some genius to them. And I should note now this video will mostly involve me reading signs, so you have been you have been told as a viewer. And so we have a sign here that says, Welcome to the Orber Museum. There's info about some Orbers here that you are surely to enjoy. Now you may be asking yourself, what is an orb game? Well, an orb game is an obby that is made using MS Paint, which also has a plot. The plot involves a villain, what involves a villain, any living or inanimate species, orb napping an orber, mostly while they are in their house. An oog, or OOG, is a way of saying that it is an original orb game with good old obstacles and other common orber mechanics. An ORG, on the other hand, is a game that is also a ride, albeit with other, well, with orber elements. These are more likely to have secret badges, albeit not as much as... OGs or o -O -O -E -Gs. They have a lot of badges, of which the badges vary in difficulty to find. There is also a chance to put lore here that would not fit in a quote-unquote normal orb game. Then before we get to all these famous orbers, I suppose we have a fountain here, very nice. And we have some standard obstacles in the game, in orb games really. So this is the most popular orb obstacle to spike. It is nearly in every orb game, even the OEGs. Heck, it has its own orb game series, Spike Orb. Also, by the way, if you touch it, touch it, you will be a silly, and it just it kills you instantly. That is the spike in orb games, really, as an obstacle. And now we'll move on to the next obstacle to take a look at. Then we'll get to those famous users over here up on the wall there. Then we have Lava. Lava has technically been in every orb game since the first Dark Orb game, albeit in that one, the Lava doesn't oof you. It is also popular in non-orb Arby's non-orb obbies too. This is the lava square, by the way. Then we have, this is a scary shortcut. Okay, not really, but it looks like something from it. It has a lot of spooky decals and weird creatures that scare orbers in it. This is the most effective orber obstacle since anybody who sees them will die of spooky and that's a clown. Okay, let's now move on to the orbers here. Some famous users in the orb community on Roblox just recognized or well known to some extent. We have Tinfoil Bot and the Apprentice. Tinfoil Bot 2010 the now is a very popular orber who made the orb game genre. His most known series is Dark Orb, because of it being the first ever orb game series. The person who made the orber is Just Plaz, who is a very kind person. Then we have the next one, Delhi. 2010 to 2021 was an orber who was like Tinfoil Bot, albeit with food as the villain instead of a sentient animal. His series, his series was also popular in the orb community for having multiple characters like Evil Oreo, etc. Delhi became a BFDI fan and now that's all the info I know. And now we have this is not this is not Delhi, but instead a reimagining of the main villain of his food orb series of games. And now we have Bot Bulb. This is Bot Bulb 2013 and now my favorite orber in my opinion. I guess whoever made this really likes Bot Bulb. All of his games, yes, even the McDonald's one has some form of charm about it especially because of them being different in a way of note, and that note is emotion, a minor example. In most scary shortcuts, there is nothing that can make you feel an oomph of fear, unless it, unless if you are younger, Bot Bulb, on the other hand, can make a good scare out of one. He is Australian and has a full-time job. Okay, continuing, we have Figflow, 2016 to now, is an orber who makes the Twilight Conquest series, a somewhat underrated series of orb games that are pretty good. He also made other games like Worst Case Scenario. Then we have Supa Meatwad. Super is, Supa is like the person who says that he can copy your homework and change it up a bit, but they are actually successful. If you have played any of his games, they are similar to Food Orb, but different enough to the point of where it can't really be called a copy. Then we have Metal Mob 3. This is Metal Mob 3, 2019, and now he is known for making Orb or contests and also making the Moto Moto and Lion King Love Story series of Orb games. And here we have... Haunted ARG. Apocyto is a Roblox Orber who is known for making the Amethyst, Amethyst Orb series. He is also has some side projects that he loves working on. He is a cool person too. My thoughts about him are that he has a very kind personality unless if people are not talking kindly about a game that he has worked on for a large amount of time. He is also known for being a huge bot fan, so a fan of Tinfoil Bot. Then we have Plutonium Baldi 322. Plutonium Baldi 322, well, Plutonium Baldi 2022 to now is a orber who made multiple Mugen games before making his first orb game. His first orb game is Vibrant Journal. 
Journey, I mean Vibrant Journey. He also made a joke orb game called Meaty Moo Poo Gloop Orb. Okay. Then we have Theo Kali Kali, who is known for making the Kali Orb series of orb games. Wait, no, I'm not a noob. Who put that here? Okay, there's a noob there for whatever reason. Then we have Overseer Bomb, Overseer Bomb 2013 and now. Over so yeah, Overseer Bomb 2013 and now is an orber who is known for the immense orb, which is the only orb game which I can compare to JTO if it was an orb game. So I think that is JTO or Tower Jevil, some Tower of Hell game. It's a big popular obstacle course game on Roblox, I believe, as a recording. Then we have Anna Jack 123 2015 and now. They are an orber who is known for the denser orb series where you help a farmer with wacky things that happen to his farm. Then we have Awesome Baked Cake 2021 to now is an orber who is known for being in fact awesome. We have Cats Bug, Cats, Kazbug RBLX, and Kazbug is a orber who is known for his book orb series of orb games. He is also known for satirically reacting to messages. We have Blast Tomb here, no sign for them though. And then we have Joe Juju the Gamer 04 2017 and now is an orber who is famous for his Rainbow Curse Orb series, which has a reboot, which is still in progress. Then we have, I think that's it. We have the last person here, Foxy and McQuee. Foxy and McQuee, 2018 and now it's an they are an orber who is known for their Spike Orb series of orb games. I vividly remember the one of his games having Foxy in it. And this is the end. And with that, this has been the Orber Museum on Roblox. If you enjoyed the game, you can check it out in the video description. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like and subscribe.